This is Nick with Firewalls.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to configure a WAN interface on your SonicWall firewalls. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is navigate to the network settings and interfaces. Now any of these interfaces can be configured as your WAN interface. They are not bound to any one specific type. So we're going to go into one of these, X2, and we're going to change the zone to WAN. Now for your static IP address, you will get this information from your ISP, as well as if it is a DHCP based IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my information for this example. Okay, now that we have that information, we can move on to the other options here. You may have an internal DNS server, which you would place here, but I am going to use Google's DNS server for this example. And having multiple DNS servers serves the purpose of having a backup in, in case, for some reason, one of these DNS servers is not working properly. These four management options are just going to give you different ways to manage your firewall from this WAN interface. So I'm going to allow HTTPS so that I can sign in to the web-based management console over this WAN interface. I also want to be able to ping and I want to be able to monitor this firewall from SNMP. And I'll go ahead and turn on Secure Shell Access so that I can use Secure Shell to get into this firewall if I so pleased. Also, under this setting for user login, this HTTPS setting allows your users to sign in to the user portal from this IP address. Now, it is also important to note that if you have two WAN interfaces configured like I do here, SonicWall by default will create load balancing between them. So it will split the traffic that's coming in between just so that you can get maximum speed potential. That is really all you need to know about creating a WAN interface on the SonicWall firewalls. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.